and three, two, one, boom, and we are back with another episode of Crack Gamers. Uh, this episode is sponsored by Zen Real Clothing Co. Pick up your teas at zenrealclothingco.com. Don't forget to use the promo code SGPODCAST for 20% off select items. All right, so this was originally going to be a movie review. We were going to talk about Six Underground, um, and when we tried to watch it yesterday, or two days ago, I guess, mm-hmm. I couldn't do it. Yeah, I was like, I was like ten minutes in, and it just seemed very, um, I don't know, like, like all, all like spectacle and no story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I felt like it was, uh, like, even though it was just the first what sixteen minutes, it's like this was. I felt like this is um, like Michael Bay uh, showing off his talents, un- unedited. Like I don't know what do we call that. Like you know, like just, unplugged. Un- yeah, it's just like do whatever you want. No, bro. like no holds bar. Yeah, uh, yeah, true. Because it but just it, felt like that, just all over the top. It was like, super over the top, but it was almost like too over the top. Where I was kind of like, okay, this is just ridiculous now. Like it felt like there was no story that was like compelling enough, and like, but it's weird though because my sister really liked it, so it's like. I guess it depends on what level of viewership you're on, or you know what I mean. No, I mean I. It's not, I don't think it's just there's people like different things, right? Yeah, true. This so, this is a very like like unplug your brain and just enjoy the ride. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not a big fan of that though. But even the unplugging, it was like it was so ridiculous. Like the the explosions were so over the top. The driving scenes were so ridiculous. I was just like, "Oh man, I can't, I can't get what, can't get with this right now." Mm-hmm. You know. But anyway, so it's not a movie review on that. Uh, Vish, you actually checked out. Um, what was it called? Oh, uh, last the game week. awards. The game awards. Yeah. yeah so we're talking about uh, console wars, basically. So like, what's coming in 2020, 2021, next generations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So. Um, what was your what was your initial impression of this? Uh, the, the overall overall thing. Yeah. I mean, where do you think we're going with gaming? What well, what do you what do you like? What do you dislike? Go for it. I mean, there's a lot of with those sort of things. Uh, there's a lot of cringe factor. Oh really? Yeah, that okay. happens. Of course. So like uh, when <clears throat> it's like, why are there actors here? Really? Okay, so ba- basically, uh, if you don't know what it is, it's like game awards, like uh, I think like Oscars for video games. Yeah. It's yeah. like that. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Go ahead. So people get awards and things. So uh, overall, I mean, for me, it's more to look at uh, like what brings the crowd in is generally like uh, what new games are going to come. So they're waiting for, for trailers for those kinds of things. Right. 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 Uh, like awards. Who's going to get the award? I don't think it. There's. I don't know if people really care about that as much because you could just like games are like it's so arbitrary. Yeah. And like, yeah, yeah. Totally. So what? It's, what game won though? Uh, so it's a game I don't even know. Oh, what? Okay. It wasn't like a popular one, like Death Stranding or something. Uh, nope. Oh, okay. I don't know. I mean, it might have been popular, but it, it was released way back in March of this year. So, uh, oh, what, what was the game? Um, uh, I can't I even know the name. <clears throat> the name was difficult to say. Some Japanese game. Okay. Well, all right. Let, let's think of like the economics of it. Like, would you? Would it be good to win a bunch of these? Like video game awards um i guess like if you if you won it's maybe like in the industry poach. yes yeah like they can poach your team yeah you know at that point you're like oh it's great for my resume now yeah like i guess that's why you'd want to win the awards but like i feel like all awards are so arbitrary because art is hard to place like one person might like just like the michael bay movie right like i hated it sister loved it so yeah it's like eh. no like like the move that game i was like okay i'll check out the trailer because i've never heard of this one okay um, and I was like, mm, it's not for me. Oh, really? Eh? Yeah. Well, what is it like a puzzle game or something? No, no, it's not a puzzle. It's like something, uh, story mode. Uh, yeah. It, it's, I think it was a bit more RPG. I just didn't like it. I think, well, that's what it looked oh, like. Oh man. Was it like the classic graphics where it's like 2d? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Okay. No, okay. no, 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 no 2d. Yeah. So what, what, uh, what are you looking forward to? Uh, so basically what I was surprised by, uh, like right in the beginning, uh-huh. the announcement for the next generation Xbox. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're so that was that. very interesting. Like that they, that's what they kind of start off with. Did they ever uh, show what the PlayStation looked like? 
No. Oh, okay. So the whole big reveal of this thing was the Xbox. I think uh, you can see that all the news is about that. Yeah. Okay. Was was there? Did it end with like something more spectacular than the Xbox? Like, should they have saved that to the very end, or, uh, or did they kind of like release it too quickly? No, no, no. I think uh, I think the thing is like most people would wouldn't would be like watching at least in the beginning, not. Oh, okay. So they, like their ad spot was like, okay. why would we leave it to the end? Yeah. Like, yeah. We want maximum viewership for what's about to be released. I get what you're saying. Yeah. So, but how did it end? Like, what was the big the finale? Like the. Um, no, just like the showstopper. Like, well, yeah, what did uh, they release? Well, release. No, like, no, just... like, like what? What did? What like you know they opened with the Xbox, so it was like yeah. okay, that's great. But like, was it just like a dead end? Like the entire show was like crap after that, or did they like end off with a bang? No, the normally it's like the who are like best game, right? Oh, that's okay. The thing that they but they didn't off. reveal anything cool at the very end. Uh, no, not at the end, but throughout the thing, I guess there was like the game that was like the the thing that related to PlayStation Five was that some some game that's coming out, and then okay. it said like. Oh, so they uh, they talked about PS Five like a little like bit. Like in the sense that uh, yeah, so like there there was mention of both consoles in a way. Okay. Uh, but Xbox showed off the console on this one. It was more like the game and saying that it's coming for PlayStation Five. So, oh, nice! Did they so, show the logo uh, for in a PS5? way in a way that kind of uh, uh, like we were all wondering like like what kind of we I guess we we know what the next PlayStation name would have been PlayStation okay. Five, right? So right, it's just like right. this is just confirming it, and then. We got the name for the Xbox the next one. So, oh, what was the Xbox name? Xbox Series X. Yeah, they're a little weird with their their naming, eh? It's I not get, like a logical uh, flow. Yeah, I get it. I know what they're trying to do. Wait, what? Why Series X? Well, because yeah. it will be a different. I think they will have different uh, versions. Oh. Different series of this, like a um, less. Um, so you think there's gonna be less expensive a- one, like different kind of things, like different level of the so like concept. the Tesla cars, yeah, yeah. So just I think they're preparing this name for like that kind of thing. So it's like it's like you get to choose what customization level of Xbox you want. So basically, like a computer. Yeah. So like so like currently so the currently they had like Xbox One. Okay. And then it came Xbox One S. The name's already getting long, and Xbox One X, which is the one like with the higher graphics right now. So this one is Xbox Series X, so then they'll go like Series S or Series whatever, right? Oh, that's kind of annoying. So it's like, if you want the better graphics, pay more for this version kind of thing. Yeah, but that, that, that's, you're still getting the same games. Like, no, totally, totally, but, but yeah. it's, like, it's not like, um, you know how back in the day, like, consoles would be like, okay, this is your console. But now it's like, the consoles are like different levels of console. Yeah, it's and more like it's like, it's getting more weird. like a PC though, right? Okay, but is PlayStation like do they seem like they're gonna be going down that route too, or? Uh, well, I don't. I, I know they had like PlayStation Pro or something. Yeah. that came out with the series. Yeah, like, but like that that that, that happens like after a few years down, right? A couple of years down or three years down, like that's when they released PlayStation Pro. Okay. Or PS4 Pro actually. Okay. And then. Um, uh, it's more like you know, up, keeping updated with the latest stuff. So it's like 4K things, like that kind of thing. Uh huh. So it's you're still gonna get the same games. If you don't have the, like these 4K TVs, you're not really gonna be Notice able to see the. Stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's not a big deal. So um, I don't think I I know like we're majority PlayStation, but like was there anything that looked tempting to get a um, an Xbox? Uh, well, they showed off one game, which okay, still okay. I think you saw a bit of the graphics, right? There, oh, what was the, uh, the the robot animals thing? No, no, no. Like the it was like um, Resident Evil. No, what was it called? Um, uh, like the, there was she was like singing something. Remember, like before he stepped out. I don't remember. Yeah, it, it was pretty good graphics. Like they were just saying, like this looks. So basically, it looked like. You know when we watch a cutscene, uh huh. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the graphic. So that that's gonna be in game. So when you play, yes. it, it's like so. You know that thing where it's like we're gonna hit um, a state of technology where reality will be indistinguishable yeah. from the, you know, from like computer generated. Mm-hmm. Could you see that happening? Like you think that's that's where we're gonna go? Yeah, of course. You know, like, but d- I'm wondering if it's like 
do you think there's gonna be a point where people like don't like it do you think they like do you think no i don't think so ready player one is where we're gonna end up or is it like because you see a lot of people with the old school graphics and stuff the diehards you know like the yeah those like 2d gaming Mm -hmm. you know like i wonder if we're actually gonna like hit that point and if we're gonna stay at that point and people are gonna love that point or are we gonna revert back to like Fortnite? you know like Fortnite got so popular and it looks so trash no i think there'll be uh it'll be a mix of both like different markets for different yeah people. i mean it's already like that now you're gonna get the graphic you know better graphic games but then you're also gonna get these more fun games too right oh, i see what you're saying yeah, yeah, yeah i don't yeah. think i don't think it's like one over the other it's it's i think it'll be like the growth of both mm. All right, I can see so, that. Like because the reason also Fortnite was there mm-hmm. was you know it's free, right? That makes it be competitive in this world, right? But like okay, totally, totally. I see what you're saying. But like even if you look at the game we're playing right now, like it doesn't look like it's still cartoony. Yeah. Like you know, I wonder if we're gonna go to like hyper realism where it's just like you're just seeing people. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't know. I think people like the fantasy aspect of video games, you know, where it's like the touch of the unreal, something you can't get in daily life. So I think if we get too realistic, what like do you mean by can, too realistic then? Like just like normal looking people, like oh yeah, I think so. I think that'll be there. But um, if you mean like you'll die in one thing, like no, 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 I'm, no, I don't mean like that. I don't mean yeah, like okay. like not gameplay wise. I mean like visually wise, like. Yes, I, I, I think wonder so. if people are like, you know, oh, this is too real. This no, I don't weird. think so. I think they want that. You can mm. see that always changing. It's it just seems that that's where it's going to go, anyways, right? Like we, where we started off with, like ten years ago, where we see now, right? I guess, yeah. Like, there's going to be always someone going to be pulling, like pushing for that, right? Like it may not be like every single game because it is a lot of money to make that kind of stuff, right? So it'll eventually get there. How long it takes, you know, God knows, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. I, I, I'm i putting my money down on, like, people not like... Like, they're, it's going to be, like, a cool gimmick, but then everyone's going to start, like, developing for, like, unrealistic stuff again. Because I feel like the, the appeal of video games is that it's an escape from reality, you know? Because if it becomes too real, then we're going to be like... We're going to be like, oh, well, it's kind of mundane, you know? I think what people no, like is like I so. uh, I, I, unrealistic I stuff, mm-hmm. you know. I don't. I don't see it that way. Mm. I don't know why. Like, I, I, it's like you know, and we can see it in movies. I, it's just like bring, making it like a movie. I think that's just who would prefer that. I don't see anything. I mean, you can see some of the things that's already being done. Like people like do. No, here, intense, here's here's a good example. Uh, here's a great example. Yeah. Uh, Uncharted. When I played number four, I was like, ooh, he looks, like, too old. Like, he looks like a normal old man now. It's mm-hmm. kind of weird. But, like, if you go back to, like, Uncharted 1, 2, 3, mm-hmm. it's like he was kind of cartoony. So I was like, you're playing this this obviously unrealistic character. So, like, your mind can fill in the gap of, like, who you wanted him to be. Yeah. Like, if there's a, if there's a, um, a, a space between realism, and, like, reality and, like, mm-hmm. fantasy you can play in that realm but if it's too real it's like why am i playing as an old man you know i uh, felt that with uncharted okay i i felt like i prefer this i can't play the old ones oh really yeah, yeah. Oh, i okay. prefer the new graphics uh, i i feel like out of all of them like four is hard for me to wrap my head around because it's like you're too human to me now that it's like you i'm just playing as an old man it's weird mm-hmm. i prefer yeah but that's just because you he was old got older as a character but like you can still make younger characters look like you know what i mean real yeah i don't know we'll we'll see i'm curious to see what the word will sway because mm-hmm. i i find that but obviously you don't find that so it's like yeah it's interesting different no, I, I think I, I i still think it'll be a mix of both i don't see why not oh yeah, yeah no yeah as you were saying but i just wonder if like we'll crave it like like if that'll become the new standard, like everybody has to have like a, like a realism, you know, because like, all right, let's say re- realism is perfection, right? Like that's the apex of like video game development. So mm-hmm. it's like, would we be satisfied with that? Or would we like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I feel like right. we wouldn't be satisfied with that. We'd be like, ah, it's like too real. It's like, 
I need something to to aspire to. I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> you know, because like, because like every year you're trying to make graphics better and better, right? Yeah. So it's like, when is it enough? You know, if you make it to the point where it's real, then it's like, okay, well, we're done. What else are we gonna do? Yeah. You know, I just don't know when right, we're gonna right? reach that, right? Like, because there's so many. Uh, but I, I'm, I, what I'm saying is, I feel yeah. like people don't really want that, even though they say they do. You know. Mm -hmm. I think they do. Mm -hmm. I think people want that. Yeah. <laughs> That's my thought on that. Uh, because I want that. So, I'm for, there will be other people like me too, right? So. Yeah, true, I guess. You'd yeah. have to actually like poll the people to really see what. what no, say. no, but yeah, but see, polling, uh, there's that book like uh, Everybody Lies. So, it's like polling is not accurate. It's more about like actions. So, it's like, no, we'll I see, mean, uh, we'll see what the sales say, you know? Yeah, right. But it's like you have to, it has to fit like so many different things, right? Like, uh, you can. You can say it. We don't really know if we'll like it unless we actually see it. That's another thing, right? Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Because uh, yeah. we can have our own ideas of it, but may not reach that kind of. I feel like it would be creepy to me. Like if it's too real, it's like, oh, this is like, I'm playing as a person now. You know, yeah. I'm not even playing video games anymore. No, but I, that's what I like, anyways. Yeah, like even even like um, even though the like I saw the Resident Evil one, and mm -hmm. it's like, oh, the graphics look insanely good. But it's still you can tell it's fake, yeah. you know. So it's like there's still that like gap there. Mm -hmm. But if I if it looked like a photo of a person, they're like, "This is the new game." I'd be like, "All right, that's freaky. Let's stop doing this. Like, this is too far, guys." You know, because like my it would be indiscernible, and it would be like I prefer that actually. eerie. I don't so, think it's eerie though. So you'd like to be playing as like human care. Like, it would be like moving, a, making a movie. Yeah, move it. Oh, it's so freaky to me. Yeah, I mean, I already like these kinds of graphics, right? So it's like... No, no, but we haven't attained those graphics, is what I'm saying. Uh, well, these are the, that's like that's where the cutscenes come in, right? The way the cutscenes look. No, but even, look. The, even the cutscenes, like, you could still tell it's not humans. No, 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 I understand that. But, like, cutscenes is kind of where it tells you where things are going. Right, right. But what I'm saying is, like, if we yeah. actually achieve a state where it's indistinguishable from reality, I think it would be too freaky for people. Like, at least it'd be freaky to me. It's like, I'm actually moving a character. And then you get into things like that video game where it's like, uh, who's moving? Remember that puzzle game? And then it's like, who's mm -hmm. moving me? And then you realize that he's talking to you, who's yeah, actually yeah. the player. Yeah. So it'd be like, when do we get into states of, like, life? Yeah. You know, like, is this character actually living, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know, I prefer it. There's, uh, there's this great uh, question. So, like... I heard this on a, a Faraz Sahabi podcast, but if you if you made a robot and it looked exactly like you, right, and it had like all the hard wirings, mm -hmm. like imagine like it was it was indiscernible from you as a person, but we knew it was a robot. It was like it's a robot, but it's like indis indistinguishable from you, right? And then we killed that robot. Would it be vandalism or would it be manslaughter? Uh. Wait, wait, say that again? Like, we created the robot? Yeah, yeah, we created the robot, and it looks mm -hmm. exactly like it's identical. Like, everything it says, like, you would say, if we pinch it, it's like, ow. Yeah, that, that, that is where these, these questions come in, I believe. I've heard this kind of you thing You know what I mean? So, yeah. it's, it's, it's like, is it, is it manslaughter, or is it vandalism? You know? Uh, yeah, so, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, when we play the video game, it's like, this would be a little too weird for me. Like, mm -hmm. like I'm actually, like moving a human now it's kind of weird you know there's still like a gap when we play these games where it's like oh it's, it's not real but like that's why i'm wondering like if it's no, so real i still real, think it'll just still be feeling fake though no but like but, we watch no, movies it, right but, like, we watch but, movies but it, in the way if they... it feels fake then it hasn't attained perfection but yeah, what i'm, but I'm saying, saying like no no like perfection. look at movies right we watch movies and the grotesque killings and things but we're not choosing those things we're just watching right yeah and people don't like saw you know, but like I'm saying, if you have the choice, yeah. you know, to like, like, like think of Grand Theft Auto Five, and it looked super real, right? And then you're like, yeah, they do that already. They try to do that with, uh, like, if you see those videos, but this is only for cars and stuff. You know, I haven't done the person yet. I don't. Okay. Think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it looks amazing. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, no, hold on. But what I'm saying is, Grand Theft Auto Five, it looks super real, and yeah. then you go to the torture scene. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then you're kind of like, okay, I'm like actually torturing a human. Yeah. I don't see the difference <laughs> in doing it with the uh, uh, level of graphics 
like lesser graphics or not. It's just doing the same thing. That's just how I view it. I guess. I don't know. I think there'd be like a weird a weird question of morality when it becomes too hyper real. Mm-hmm. You know, that's oh. what I think, because it's like, yeah, yeah. It goes to that yeah, question be, of like yeah. manslaughter or like vandalism. Because it's like when we're playing Grand Theft Auto Five, it's like, okay, well, they're obviously polygons, right? But like if, if it looks super real and it's like you're pulling out the person's tooth, you know, you're like, ooh. And you could see like the winces of pain. Like it looks mm-hmm. super real. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Especially if you add VR to the mix. Oh, my God. Yeah, but VR, yeah. That's Could you imagine that? Like, like it's hyper real. It's VR. It's like you take off the 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 VR goggles and like you see this world, and then you put on the VR goggles and you see like the same world, like the equal amount of detail. You don't know which world's real anymore. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's like, I feel like we we shouldn't hit that point. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think we should. We'll see. Well, well, I don't even know if the tech is like. Possibly. No, I don't know when it'll reach that. Because at that point, you're like, you're yeah. creating. I don't know when universe. it'll reach that, but yeah. Uh, uh, whenever weird. that, whenever that does happen. <laughs> that's when people say like, "Oh, we're living in a video game," you know. Like I say, like my life is a video game, but like I'm looking at it like I'm applying the rules of video game life to my life, mm-hmm. whereas like other people think we're actually in like a virtual reality video game. And it's like maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be nuts. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. But I think there'll be a market for both. Like, there might some people might feel what you feel, and then, but there will be. I don't know, like, what would be the numbers, right? Yeah, true. I just feel like that's like we're we're bordering on like playing God. Yeah, you, know, you create God a of whole... war. <laughs> <laughs> no, they create this game called Life. Like, it's like Sims, mm-hmm. and then you're just, all you do in the video games you just live. So it's like so long you live in real life, but it's like, but one is like you're like oh it's a game. Yeah, it's about the reward system, right? A lot of these yeah, things totally are about reward yeah, systems yeah. because you can see those rewards in the games right away. So that's why people prefer to pay, play them, right? But I wonder if like people, if they made the graphics so good that people started like not wanting to play video games, they just started like focusing on their own lives. Like imagine you have like a haptic suit, and then I think like, it dep- okay, yeah, yeah, here here is a video game that's indistinguishable from life. You have a haptic suit, you can feel everything, mm-hmm. you know. Like basically ready player isn't that one. what yeah isn't that no what yeah, yeah totally yeah, yeah ready player one and it's like i wonder if people would just be like why am i doing this game why don't i just like live my life like that's what that's what turned me around i was like i don't know why i'm focusing on playing like sims and upgrading characters why don't i upgrade my like life character yeah well the up the uh the level upgrade is too slow uh yeah i, I see what you're saying but that's why it's it's just like the um it's just like uh dopamine or whatever it is like that affects your brain right like because you're seeing these results right away in a video game you just find more right right because yeah right because it's like you just you just purchase it yeah. you just want like instant gratification you just purchase like an unlockable that you can all of a sudden like yeah do a different what was move. that thing elon musk right that like life is a video game thing mm-hmm. but it was then people started adding in like oh the to paywall is too much or whatever like right, right, right. like these sort of things that uh people complain about in video games right 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 right. so but maybe maybe that's the thing maybe it's like we we in the future create this game that again is indistinguishable from life like it's like it takes such a long time to cultivate a skill in the game Mm -hmm. i think then people would just stop playing because they'd just be like well why don't i just live my life or that game would just get no sales but i'm saying if it's too much like life then yes like in this in that aspect there's no reward system like in in the quick way then yeah of course okay so you're saying that the difference between like realism for a game and realism for life it's not about the graphics it's about the instant gratification Mm -hmm. i think so if you made it too much like real some people might like it but i think that'll be very very rare um but yeah it will cause people to not really play the game i think yeah true I wonder if we'll ever hit that state where it's like people just start living their lives like we are in a video game and they start doing things that they really want to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like that, that'll be interesting for me to see. Yeah. When I, you realize that mm-hmm. like games are no different than reality. But we're always going to make games that are like that. Uh... That's super But that's why I'm saying it's yeah. like you can't 
you can never achieve the perfection because we don't want perfection. We want like things we can't get in real life. Mm-hmm. That's that's the grand appeal of video games. Mm-hmm. And I think if we hit realistic graphics, it's like, but that's not what we wanted. We wanted fantasy. Well, that's what I'm saying. It, you that's can my hit, logic you can behind hit. why I don't. Yeah, think I get it. I get that. I get are, that yeah. But I think it that that depends on how how like how real is it? Like I don't think the graphics will. If the gameplay is changing, then yes. If the but what I'm saying is like if if we do like achieve perfection where it's like indistinguishable, mm-hmm. I don't think we'd want that. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's tough. And uh, did they announce Halo at all? Uh, they didn't now talk about Halo and that at all. But oh, of boo. course, it'll be. Coming. I love Halo. I think it'll be coming. Like we know it's coming for um. Uh, for that um next xbox or whatever yeah. all right for favorite first person shooter go first person shooter yeah i think i always liked halo yeah it's cool all right i'm glad that you said that halo 2 for me <laughs> yeah because like people are on this like call of duty thing right now and like before like apex legends fortnite but like mm-hmm. i think the perfect game ever was halo right i think yeah there was so something to good. it that made They're, it uh, huge so. yeah it's it's the um, the physics the storyline of you being a soldier, uh, them wearing masks so you don't know who they are. I mean, the at the time, yeah, life there's... thing, yeah, the yeah. like auto heal, like that's great. Like that game. Oh, was that so sound good. of that healing was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. Was like the best first person shooter. I I never liked uh, Counter Strike. Like all the realistic ones, I I hate them. Oh right, because they're so like it's like uh, it's like I'm not. Again, I guess maybe I'm just the one who's like I don't like <laughs> perfection because right. it's like those those uh, realistic ones like Call of Duty, Counter Strike. Yeah, they had like if you got shot, it's like you were stuck with that, and you're like, oh mm-hmm. man, like mm-hmm. I can't run and gun, and like you know. Oh yeah, yeah. But that created I don't know. There's a level of uh, you know I guess it's for every everyone did, has something. Did right? you ever play Quake? Yeah, I did. I like that too. It was all right. It was too fast. It was very, very yeah, fast. It was very super uh, fast yeah. That and Unreal Tournament. I was about to say Unreal. Oh my God. I loved Unreal though. That game was so good too. Unreal was so good. I think maybe that's like for me, like thinking about it now, mm-hmm. fighting games and first person shooters are my favorite types of games. Like I loved RPGs in the beginning, but I can't play them anymore because it's like, it just feels like I'm taking too much time away from that's what i'm saying rpg yeah. See, that, that, of my life exactly you know? that's what i'm saying like it became too real for you that's right? what i'm saying yeah ex- exactly yeah. yeah it became too real and i was like why am i spending so much time yeah. playing for this character i should just do it for myself yeah because but those are rpg games right but there's like different games that give you like different genres yeah, 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 yeah totally, totally that have different levels and how fast they grow like whatever like how fast you level up and things like that so i mean now people make a living off video games so it's like it's, it's a mix of both <laughs> Yeah, it's a weird, uh, it's a weird world. Yeah, I like that though, because like back in the day, like like quote nerds unquote are mm-hmm. like they were like getting a lot of slack, uh, like hate for yeah. them being nerds. But now it's right. like you know they're they're like the kings. Mm-hmm. It's, it's so interesting to see like that switch. But yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah first person shooters. But what about you? What do you like? Uh... You seem to really like this uh, Death Stranding, like RPG stuff right now. Yeah, I do. Like, uh, it depends on how it's done. Like, I think, um, I didn't. I like. I haven't really played a lot of RPGs, like in growing up. Growing up. Yeah, yeah, totally. I was obsessed. Like Final Fantasy VIII. I tried that. Um, I remember like getting because because you get into the stories. Like literally, the reason why I loved RPGs is because mm-hmm. like you you live as this character. You become this character. Right. You live out their life and like. You, it's like escapism mm-hmm. you know like you you forget about your life and you become this other character you know you find out other backstories yeah. whatever whatever but again that's what turned me off as i got older because i was like i should just focus on my life mm-hmm. you know but like i guess if you've never like played it a bunch as a kid it's like it's still interesting you know yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean you did replay the Final Fantasy VII? Yeah. That's because I like to finish things that I start. <laughs> Literally, the only reason why I played that is because I never beat it. And I was like, okay, I got to beat it. <laughs> right. I made it, like, when I was a kid, I used uh, Game Shark And, like, it's, like, codes. So, like, I got to the yeah. final boss, but, like, the codes weren't strong enough to kill the final boss. So oh. I never beat the game. Mm. 
literally like the final boss. Right, right, which right. Which couldn't right, be right. the game. Thankfully, um, there's different codes for uh, the download version where you have like unlimited life and like stuff mm-hmm, like that. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, I could just beat it quickly. And you can like two times speed it, so like you can move faster because like that game was slow. <laughs> Damn. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you all those cheat codes before, right? Yeah, 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 cheat codes, yeah. Um, but like the Final Fantasy VII, the one that's coming out, like I would, I would like to play it. I don't know how much I would play it. Like, mm-hmm. like would I beat it to the end? But like, I want to play it just to see like what it's like. The graphics are better. Like you could probably be in that world better, yeah. longer and stuff. It's interesting. It's interesting to see, like, like even like next year will be the last, like, year for the the current generation. Oh yeah, but there's still lots of games coming up for. True, like, like what? PS4, uh, Last of Us Part Two. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, the Final Fantasy game, Ghost of Tsushima. Oh really? That's not a PS5. Nope. It'll, All right, that's it's cool. coming for PS4 summer. I like that game. That game's cool. Yeah. Uh, and the Final Fantasy and other things that they have. Cool. Cyberpunk also. It's not like PlayStation exclusive, but that's coming next year. Are you stoked for Cyberpunk? Yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes. I think I've already pre-ordered the game. So. Oh, really? Oh, okay, cool. So I guess I'm uh, more than excited. I don't know. <laughs> well, when does uh, Final Fantasy VII come out? I think it's March. Mm. You yeah. know the reason why that I was saying before, but like the reason why that game was so important because like Square Enix. The ones who created that mm-hmm. used to be Square and Enix, like two separate companies, and they came together for PlayStation, specifically for PlayStation, to create right. this like flagship game, which is Final Fantasy VII. Mm-hmm. And it was like it was such like a smash hit, like it was such like a seminal game because like after that, RPGs like you couldn't go down after that. You know, it's like you set the bar, like this is what we have to all aspire to, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time, I guess. Yes. And then Final Fantasy VIII came out, which was amazing. Not many people liked it. I'm surprised, but it was like better mm-hmm. graphics, mm-hmm. cool story. That's another one that I really liked. Final Fantasy VIII. They were like assassins, but like I think. See, that's the, like I, I didn't like RPGs then. Yeah, they were just yeah. too long. Yeah, no, they, I'm telling you, they're long. They're yeah. so long. Four discs is like, bro, <laughs> and each each disc is like sixty hours. You're like, what am I doing with my life? Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, but that's why I never. I tried them, but I never. It was just too long to play. Like, I preferred like the the quick. And it's weird um, too because when it ends, it's time. like when it ends, you're like, oh, I spent so much time playing in this world. Mm-hmm. But that's why a lot of like Grand Theft Autos and stuff, they started introducing like open world. Yeah. After the game was complete. Yeah. You know, which I found really cool because it's like you've already beat all the quests and now it's just like living in that world. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Like that's where it all began, because mm-hmm. like, um, like games had open worlds. Yes, when you're playing the game, but like once the game was no free roam. Sorry, not not open world. They're all open world, but like you hit free roam oh, right. when yeah, the game yeah, is yeah. done. Yeah, yeah. I it's like it's interesting because it's like very analogous to life. Because I kind of feel like you hit this point too if you've like done all the things you want to do in life, and like you just you just hit free roam mode. It's like you're still alive. So what other quests do you want to do? You do like side missions now. Mm-hmm. Like your main quest is like done, you know? Right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I like them. I liked shooters at the time, I think. And uh... Racing games, you're a big fan. Oh, of you're right. Yeah, yeah, I totally forgot. I love I don't play them anymore, game. but yeah. I, yeah. I was big into Midtown Madness. Yeah. I really want to get um the new Need for Speed, you know? That was so... Do you remember Need for Speed Underground? They yeah, did like yeah, drag racing. Yeah. You could customize your cars. That was so good. Oh yeah. There's not that much hype for. Um, I don't think they're as popular anymore. And, it's too bad. Uh, uh, I mean, I mean, there are, but I don't know. I don't know how big they are compared to how it was before. Mm, so, I, yeah. Do you think? Um, do you think consoles are going to die and it's going to be more mobile? Mobile, I don't think so, unless the graphics are... Uh, no, you know what? Idea. I don't think so, because I don't know if anyone really likes the touchscreen. Yeah, I know. As I was a thinking controller. about too, actually. Yeah, controllers is the big issue. But what you what, what would happen is, like, what Google is doing. Uh, Google Stadia. Uh-huh, right, which yeah. was... Uh, uh, like, they... It's it's run through servers. Okay. You just have a controller at home. And that's you can, cool. Basically, you can game on anything, any device. That's cool. I don't mind that. Yeah. That's cool. I think that's where it will go. 
Uh, it just... Oh, so Google is entering the video game market. I mean, it's already out. Oh. Yes. But they're not creating consoles. No, not consoles, but they're where you can play the game. They're That's creating cool. a platform where you play the game. I don't mind that. Yeah. I guess it's in a way like a console, right? But you're not so getting like a Net physical device. It's like Netflix. It's like Netflix. Yeah, it's like okay, Netflix. Cool. Yeah. I'll check that out. Is yeah. it expensive? Uh, I don't think it's expensive, but the thing is... The Do they issues... have all games? No, I don't think they have oh. all games. Because uh, they had to build a whole... Uh, like Server. Okay. Yeah, like in order to hold all that kind of stuff, right? If a lot of people are going to game on it. Uh, but it's still like an issue with lag. Um, oh yeah internet yeah, yeah. base right it's not right, right, like right. they're they're ahead of the game it'll get there it's just uh it's just not yet just not yet right yeah. i know that like, sony will go there like they're already doing things like that like I, xbox will go there too um i think they've already like like there's rumors of that other because uh, there's another xbox to come out with the current one i don't know when exactly okay. but like that'll also that's going to be like doing that, that kind of stuff like dealing uh playing it like through uh through online or something like that oh cool yeah so um uh yeah like but that's where it's gonna go like i don't think people really want the console device itself it's just gotta run through online like play like netflix right just i was thinking that too netflix actually like i there. i feel like with consoles it's like it's like do we really want consoles still uh like if if so. you can perfect streaming yeah, yeah, services, yeah. like I don't think I feel like consoles is kind of a waste of time because mm -hmm. we use like other things, you know. Could you imagine if they totally switch it up? Like PlayStation Five is going to be announced. They're like PlayStation Five is online. Oh, we'd all be like, what? Uh, well, that's what they tried to do with the first Xbox, right? Oh, but really? you would need the device still and uh, be connected to online. That kind of what ruined. That's kind of what lost. Oh, because it went Excellent. digital. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it wasn't ready. It just wasn't the right time. They were ahead of the time, but not the right time. I would be it. so... Because, like, I think about it this way. Why do you need CDs anymore? Who used CDs? Why are we going to have a PlayStation 5 with a CD player? Like, you don't rent movies. Yeah. So... But there is still, like, a, the trade-in value is still there for games sure okay trade in value what if they just got rid of that what if they're just like we're straight digital or if you can what the, what would be more beneficial is if you could do that online like do the trade in online that'd be cool yeah so i think that's once they do that that's when it'll or what if what if there's well, no more, what, if, what if what if there's no more trade in what if it's a monthly subscription well they do that already unlimited games monthly but not for the newer games but uh, there are some ps4 games but like they're they are doing that yeah no, what I'm saying is like, what if it's like fully like Netflix? Like, what if they go the Google route? And you just have to purchase. I think that's where it will go. Like, that's what Google is doing, is the same kind of thing. So I, that's where it will go. So, but but what what they so okay in the console wars book that I read, mm -hmm. um, they make no money off of the console itself. They make all their money off games. Yeah. So what if they just completely circumvent that? They're like, okay, we don't even need to sell consoles anymore. The internet's fast enough. Let's just go straight streaming. Yeah, that's we're just going to be that's development gonna be publishers. Yeah. So like Sony won't even be a Sony PlayStation anymore. It'll be like Sony developed games. Yeah. I think. Oh that's... man, could you imagine? Wait, hold on. Let, let, let me let me like flesh this out because this would be so sick. Could you imagine if instead of consoles separating? Because people hate that. Like I hate the fact that I can't play with somebody with a different console. It's you annoying, can do right? it now. No, I know. It's I know. starting. No, no, I know. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. But so it's already on that road with the cross platform. Yeah. So what happens if they just they completely do away with that? They all say, okay, this is going to be our server, and what we do is we sell games. Nobody sells consoles anymore. Yeah. So if if yeah, if that's you where play it's games, going. right, right, right. If you have the same game as me, we can play. Yeah. You know, but it's a Sony developed game. It's an Xbox developed game. Well, uh, that would be insane, I think so. Bro. This is where I think it'll be more like uh, it's going to go in the Netflix direction. But now, whose version you want to buy, right? Xbox, like run like their server version. servers or Sony's, right? Or PlayStation's or whatever, right? But I think it'd be way better if we didn't even have different servers. We just had one server and you're just selling games on that server. Uh, yes, I don't. I uh it's an yes that's an interest that's a good way to go for consumers 
I just you don't could, know if Sony wants and or you Xbox wants to go in that it, direction. And then you can download it to any iPad yeah, yeah, yeah. or computer. You just need the controller. Yeah. So it's like it's literally just like Netflix. That would be so sick. I, that's the, I just think there will be different platforms. Like we have Disney. Like we have like it's just going to be like that. Because Sony, Sony like, will develop. See, the only way they can separate right now, the reason why Sony could be good, is like they do have a lot of good single player games. Right. And but like, why would they want different stream? Like, I get it, because you want to have the profit for yourself, sure. But if we already saw the business model that they make no money off consoles, then forego the the server, like let Google handle the server. Like it doesn't matter. Just focus on the games, because that's where you make all your money, anyways. Uh yeah, uh yeah. I don't know. But it then might how go do you into divvy that. up? That's what I'm it. saying. It's like how do you divvy up the game? Then so the, all that like really means is so the thing is the game, it's like ah, that's a lot of money. No no no, you're doing an online membership that gives you the games, lets you play the games. But then it's like how, right, totally. But then it's like how do you know which game gets which money? Uh, which game gets which money? Like yeah. it's based on like like. Uh, like um, what you're playing, or how you? No, no. So I get that. Yeah. yeah, but it's like, how do you? So like, of my fifteen dollars, where does that go each month? So it's more like the way Netflix does it. I believe it's like it's their contract, right? Yeah, but I don't think Sony would want a contract. Um, like, what would the contract be? It has to be like. Well, in order for that's what I'm saying. Like the way it works is, uh, like we. So if net like the way Netflix does, I think it's like you. You go to Netflix, uh, or Netflix goes to you that they want to put your movie on there. Yeah, we're gonna pay you this much. Yeah, but for this much time. Totally. So it would have to be an own server by that company. Yeah. So, so that's why like, the, that's why I'm saying like that's why it's gonna be, be different. Servers. Different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. So Sony will run theirs, and Xbox will have theirs. It's kind of like that because then then you can separate out like Sony's games that. and things like that. Yeah. I wouldn't mind that twenty four ninety nine per month. Like okay. Yeah, sure. I think so. They're already doing that, right? Sony's doing that already. Um. It's just not with the latest games yet. They do have like the God of War and something. Dude, like that. what if they do that? Like you saw Xbox pump so much money into like this console, and then because like you know like Xbox mm-hmm. and PlayStation, there's so much console wars going on. So what if at the last second it's like, okay, this is our Xbox. It'll cost mm-hmm. this much money, and then, um, and then like the this head of PlayStation goes on like E3 or whatever, and he's like, yeah. subscription service twenty four ninety nine per month. You'd be like, damn, like, what What would Xbox do? You know what I mean? It would be left in the dust because Xbox is still thinking, okay, we're going to do CDs. No, but Xbox is still doing it. They, they already are doing that. If you really pay attention to what they're doing, they're already doing that. The online? Yeah. No, no, but what I'm saying is like Xbox already released its system. Like they showed everyone what it looks yeah, like. Yeah. So, But we never saw anything about PlayStation. Uh, but PlayStation so, will have no. But what I'm saying is, yeah. wouldn't it be crazy? That would be such like the bait and switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If like when it's time for PlayStation to announce something, they announce just a service. Yeah, I uh, it um highly unlikely. I'm just saying, uh, yeah, really, yeah, 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 yeah. it would be so ballsy. I'd be like, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, they do have the upper. So now they know what the the uh, thing looks like. The they thing know, looks yeah, like. So yeah, they yeah. do. They do have like a in a way an upper ground. Like, they do. That's what I'm saying. So like, it's like, what if they just went straight streaming? They yeah. like went left field. People would be like, oh damn. Yeah, but the thing is, or and they're like they're like consoles are so 2000. <laughs> oh bro, could you imagine? They're just like they go on stage. Consoles are so 2000. Right. Boom. Yeah. We have a controller. Mm-hmm. It just comes with a remote and a controller. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. That would be so. Sick. Or they make it like an Apple. Yo, what, all right, what, all right, sorry, I'm going off right now. But could you imagine if it's like Apple TV? They give you a little box mm-hmm. and you plug into your high speed. There's no more console. It's just a little box <laughs> with a controller and then a freaking remote. Mm-hmm. Sony, if you're listening to this, you gotta do this. This is the future. That'd be so sick. That'd be so sick. Just not the current future. Not the current present. <laughs> I mean. It's just not possible. Solo. Just not possible yet. Not possible, but it would be amazing. It'll get there. I just think that's where it's got to go. Like they will. You know what you totally do? You completely like crumble video game stores. Yeah, it's already happening. I mean, EB, I know, yeah, no, if yeah, you look EB at EB games, games totally they're fun. they're already looking at different ways, uh, different ventures. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're not dumb. Like you'd see the future. 
Yeah. But I think it'd be so crazy if it did that, like a little box. No more CDs. Mm -hmm. CDs and um, CDs and like video games. Yeah, you don't have to spend money making discs or something like that. No, but they're just like, but if they open with like physical was so 2000, whatever, (laughs) it would make Xbox look so stupid. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Only, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like, there was a big deal with it when Xbox tried to do it. But, uh, they're doing, they're going in that direction, anyways. It's just, it's just, yeah. I don't think it's this this console generation or the next, I mean, next console. It'll be the one after that. Yeah, true. I'm excited. I'm excited to see where it all goes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just excited about the games. True. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, screw consoles. Like, who cares? It's not about, yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't even use, like, the only reason why I use the console is for, like, Aside from games, like watching old mm-hmm. DVDs. So like, like yeah, you know, yeah it's like yeah. whatever though. I think we talked about this before too, but like, the, yeah, the cross-platform is happening, but it'll happen to third-party games. Just won't happen to first-party games. Right, 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 right. Like uh, you said, your sister has um, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. I can get that on PS4 and play yeah. as well. That's cool. I love that. Yeah. That's like super awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's we've been waiting for that kind of thing for a long time. Totally, yeah, I know. Totally for a long time. Yeah. That's why I see it, like the future streaming. That'd be so amazing. Yes. Yeah. All right. It's a bright future. Mm-hmm. Um, final thoughts on any console wars? Uh, I mean, we totally didn't even mention Nintendo, but ah, I mean, screw Nintendo. Watch Nintendo come out with that streaming service, like because they're the most innovative company, right? They are. Yeah. That's so the it's thing. like, what are they they're doing? They're always. They're, we always uh, forget about Nintendo, but they're the ones who are pushing these these changes. Yeah, they are actually. Uh, yeah, and uh, that, that that goes back to the original way that yeah. like they were managed uh, back in the console war book they read. Mm-hmm. Or oh, no, 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 it was the console war podcast, business wars, um, PlayStation. Uh, sorry, X, no PlayStation versus Nintendo. Yeah, um, it was no Sega versus Nintendo. Mm-hmm. No, wait, that was the book. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so basically the way that was managed was like he was always looking for innovation. He didn't care about like what like the game or whatever. He just wanted like an innovative way to experience. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, like yeah. if you look at the Nintendo Switch and like all this, it's like Yeah, yeah they, they were the ones with the Wii, huge success, then Wii U, which was not a success because it was the same. Or, like, yeah. yeah, like GameCube, uh then you look at um yeah, the the Nintendo Switch, uh, which you can take, you can do both, in how like play on the TV or take mm-hmm. it take it um, mobile. Right. Uh, so it they're they're always the the ones that we always forget about, but there are the one they're the ones who are still in the game and will be still in the game for a long True. time. True. Totally. Totally agree. Yeah. If they keep doing those kinds of like, uh, uh, those types of ventures, like those types of. Um, uh evolutions or whatever it is uh called like they will stick around for a long time yeah totally yeah i agree yeah. they they create like innovative stuff over and over but that's why i don't even think about them because like i don't really consider them like a major player in the console wars it's really just xbox for playstation like nintendo yeah, they're, even conceded uh, they're like nintendo can have the children's market it's fine whatever. yeah 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 um yeah that's it's but uh you know Oh, also, I found this mm-hmm. out. Nintendo was the one who created Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, oh, they. Cool. It was like they were. I was listening to the podcast, and they were saying how like he introduced like this little Pokemon creature, and people were like, "What the hell is that?" Makes sense. I mean, it looks like for kids, right? Yeah, it's totally for. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I like. Uh, it's interesting to see where where it goes. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm excited. Uh, I don't know if I will buy right away. I think it all depends on what games are coming out for them. True. On on the release year, I guess. Uh, yeah, like I'm pretty good with the PS4 still. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm. I just want to see where Halo is going to go. So yeah, it'll game. come out. It'll it'll be there for that one. Not too bad Xbox One only had one Halo game. But yeah. True. Yeah. Like that was uh, yeah big mess up. I'm looking forward to no more screens and it just being glasses. What do you mean? Huh? Could you imagine that? Like glasses? Yeah. So like the new console is just wear glasses. You just wear glasses, bro. Mm-hmm. I guess I don't. I, mean, I don't, I don't know. Headphones built in. <laughs> okay. 
it's just it's like, like a VR, headset, bro. It's like a headset. It's just VR, but Dude, then so uh, yeah, like translucent glasses versus. Yeah, that'd be amazing. We'll see. We'll see where it's all headed with mm. the new uh, iterations of Xbox and PlayStation. Yeah. Screen Nintendo. We don't. We don't even care. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So next week is Star Wars. I'm excited. The final installment in the trilogy. Well, this version of the trilogy. So. We'll yeah, JJ Abrams is back. Let's see what how he concludes it. Yeah, hopefully it's really really good. Number two was not good. Because it um, wasn't JJ Abrams. Number one was amazing. I could still watch number one. Well, I mean, number, what is that, six? Seven? Seven, the yeah. Force Awakens? Seven. It's seven. And then eight was not good. And then we're, I'm stoked for nine. Okay. We'll see. All right, till next time. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing in this game. <laughs> All right. Take All right. it easy. Bye.